So this short video will show you how to um, add a video to um, labs recorded by LabTimer. Um, I have a list of 50 labs here. I switch to the session view to see the labs sorted by sessions. I use this third one here. Um, and you see so far we have no uh, videos uh, assigned to these labs. And uh, otherwise, you would see uh, a video symbol here. I choose an arbitrary lab. I use the first one because it's use, usually it's uh, easiest to identify the first one or the last one in the video. I select this one here, and um, I um, choose Edit to um, get the option to add a video. And uh, I, I choose an arbitrary video here. It's not related to the actual recordings, but it's long enough. So, and in this step now, you would choose the end of the lap selected. So it's the first lap I have selected. And uh, for example, assuming this frame here is um, the end of the first lap, you can find it just using the the arrow buttons in the top. And then I set say set. Uh, and this uh, uh, assigns the video to this lab uh, and adds sync information uh, as selected. And now I get an additional option that is um, lab timer asks me uh, whether uh, it should um, uh, assign all the other labs in the same session accordingly. And I choose the selection, uh, say full session. So um, I return to the lab list and what you see now is that all the labs in the session have a video assigned. Uh, I return to the first one and um, I see uh, the video here. And if I go into the video, scroll down, I get additional information. Um, I see that there is not only this lab number 22 assigned uh, with sync point uh, 154, but all the other labs in the session have been added to. So uh, if I return and if I um, um, pr press export, you can see that um, I'm not only able to overlay this lab, but for example, select a, a range from nine labs uh, that are overlaid in, uh, in one run. So that's it. Uh, thank you for listening.